Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial about how to install MySQL So first we have to look for MySQL on Google You click on MySQL official website Then we click on downloads Then you look for the MySQL community downloads So as you can see here we have a lot of MySQL community downloads And in our case we are going to install that for Windows And you choose to download the first one, which will take the least amount of storage. So you click on download. And as you can see here, we can, we can log in or sign up for an Oracle web account. So we click on no thanks, just start my download. Once the download is complete, so we click on my SQL installer. Okay, so first, as you can see here, we have to choose a setup type and we have select one among these five. So we have developer default, server only, client only, full and custom. So we stay with the recommended, which is the developer. We click on next. As you can see here, you may get different things displayed on your screen depending on your computer and the requirements. So in my case, I would just click on next. Yes. And here you can see the list of the products that will be downloaded. So you click on execute. So this may take some time depending on your internet connection. So I will pause the video. Okay, so once all the products are downloaded, you click on next, execute. This also may take a couple of minutes. So I will also pause the video. Once all the products are installed, you click on next. Product configuration will now work through a configuration wizard for each of the following products. Click next. So here we have type and networking. We have the connectivity, TCP IP, we have the port. So we leave everything as it is. We don't change anything. We click on next. So here we have the authentication method. Use strong password encryption for authentication. Recommended. Click on next. And here you create your MySQL root password. So here we have created our password, we click on next, Windows service, so run Windows service as standard system account, next, execute. So the configuration of my SQL was successful, click finish to continue, finish, next, finish, next, and here you put your password. Check, connection succeeded, next, execute, finish, next, finish. So now we have the following workbench that says welcome to my, my SQL workbench and here you have your connection. So generally we have the local instance MySQL IT but if you don't have this one you can create new connection set up new connection so you give it a name local connection so here on the password you click store in vault you put your password okay and press okay so here you have your local connection you click on that and here we have my SQL workbench which is ready to be used. So that's it for installing my SQL. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.